play a game. Them time that we not had enough computer and all them kind of thing that. So we used to play enough, enough, enough. And remember me and my friend, we used to play this game. Jumbie lefty pipe ya. Jumbie lefty pipe ya. No ka no ka. What kind of game this? Iron game this. You think I can't break it? No ka no ka. And when rain used to fall in those days and sun a shine at the same time, we had a thing we used to say. Here we used to say, no, rain a fall, sun a shine, Jumbie a married the wife a bush. And then we used to talk about Jumbie Lash. Now, Jumbie Lash is a hot hot lash somebody give you. It's so hot that you start to see Ning Ning. So we grow up with a lot of Jumbie words and Jumbie talk. And I don't know if you know, but we Guyanese, we got more Jumbie than the law allow. The first one I want to tell you about is a Jumbie we got called a Baku. Now a Baku is a short man. We bring over the Baku from the Joker in Suriname. And he really is from West Africa. That is where you originate from, the, the Baku, the word Baku. And to get a Baku, when you're bringing it over, you got to bring in a bottle. And you got to keep the bark, the bark cork on tight, tight, tight. If you find a bottle anyway, that's why you won't see we picking up bottle, especially when we the smart and it's Especially if we see bottle at the sea wall, you will never see we opening any bottle where we find. Because we know that if we open the bottle, it's a baku we could release right there. You know, we had some famous baku, you know. We had Baizi and Baya. And these baku, you got to feed them with milk and banana. And it does get people rich, rich. Anybody where we know have baku, we know that them people... Rich, rich, but Baku does turn back pan people. You see when Baku turn back pan, you're the pelt out everything out your house. There's a lot of corruption with Baku. Some of them very, very bad oration. All right. Now, another jumbie we used to there wrong a lot when we the small was a churile. Now, a churile is a lady. She's a lady jumbie. And what happened to she? She dead when she been a get baby. And so she left haunted and she always hollering, looking for she baby. That is the jumbie. Now, when you see she, if you see she, if you walking down the road any late, late night and you see a child, she going to dash a baby and gay you. When she dashes baby and gay you, you go get sick and then you go dead. And that is why we Guyanese believe. That when you're burying a child, you bury she with a cross or anybody with a dying child's board. And you got to nail her down in the coffin so she ain't going to come out and behave bad to other people. Well, let me tell you, it ain't got nothing used to drive fear in we heart more than the jumbie where we got called a whole like. Now, oh like when we the small, we never used to always say oh like. Sometimes we used to call a oh like a suck suck. Yes. And a oh like is a lady or an old lady and what she does do she just take off all she clothes and turn into a ball of fire she got to turn into a ball of fire for going your house and when she go in the house she masterly like suck baby and old people now she don't just suck them any and any way she does feel feel you and feel for the soft spot that is where the soft part by your leg or the soft part by your hand that is where she gonna suck you now, enough people believe that if you don't want the old like to suck you or suck up the baby, you got to put a blue nighty on the baby. When you wake up in the morning and your skin hot in you and you see a black and blue mark on your skin, no say the old like come in your house. Enough people believe say they could kill old like. This is how people are trying to kill old like. Let me tell you this. A Guyanese would take a calabash. Put the old like skin in the cal calabash. They're going to soak it with salt and pepper. So that when she put it on, it won't punish you. But the thing what we like to do is to catch a whole egg. And that is why if we believe that a suck suck there, okay? We're going to take half a bag or a gallon of rice and we're going to put it by the door. Because you know, say, she got to count all them rice one at a time before she can try for coming in your house. And if one rice grain fall out, she can, she got to start back again. So she go there, there till sun come out here. They say moon around till day catch them. She go there, how there 
till they clean. I try for count rice. The jumbi wa we the frightened a blatto was the one where you call a moon gazer. That is the one he tall tall and he always watching straight at the moon and he foot them long long and wide wide. He foot so wide that he could put one foot on this side of the road and the next foot on the that side of the road and he would stand up there gazing at the moon. Don't ask me. I never see a moon gazer. But one thing I know about Guyanese is that when you're alive, them and you could be best of friend. But the day you dead to a Guyanese, you turn a jumbi. And Guyanese don't make joke with jumbi. They don't make joke with jumbi lash. They don't make joke with, joke with jumbi or beat a wife a bush. That is why when you ask a Guyanese, jumbi left a pipe, yeah? You know what they do say? No kanoka. And they would hold on by your hand. And when you say, what kind of game this? They're going to say, I am game this. And then you're going to say, I think, you think I can't break it? They're going to say, no kanoka. What kind of game this? I am game this. Because Guyanese don't make joke with jumbi. When you're living, you and them could be good, good friend. But once you turn a jumbi, you and them done. They're feeding you with a long spoon.